Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's now about 10.30 p.m. on June 5th, 2018. And uh, Murder Dog and I are sitting out in the parking lot somewhere right now. Uh, we got to figure out where we're going to head tonight. Um, it's, been a, it's been a bit of a rough time since I spoke to you last. Uh, I think we left off last uh, while Murder Dog and I were just either getting out of the vet or waiting for the vet. And honestly, after the day I've had, I, I can't remember which. So a quick recap is she needed to go to the vet uh, for for some blood work. And uh, and then she had also had that incident with the tail that I was going to have them look at. And unfortunately, I, I screwed up. I missed like I, I, I think they misspoke, but maybe I misheard. I don't know. I'm, I've been under a lot of stress lately. Uh, about the amount of time that she needed to, you know, she, the certain medication she takes. Um, there's supposed to be uh, a certain amount of time between when she takes it and when she gets tested. And uh, I missed it by like 45 minutes. So we have to reschedule and, and go back in a couple of days. Um, uh, as far as her tail goes, everything seemed fine, although apparently she opened it back up at some point. Although when I went to go check it, it seemed like it was perfectly fine again. I didn't even find any dried blood, but uh, there was some blood sp splattered uh, in, in another location we were at that could only possibly have come from her tail with the uh, spray marks that it was that, that were all over the place but she still seems fine and uh, you know that's good uh, after uh, after the whole thing with the vet we ended up going to see the kids and the wife and uh, unfortunately that's where things went very wrong um, the uh, the wife and I got into a little bit of an argument um, we since smooth things over but it's it's kind of rough because she she was offered a trip for her and the girls to go to North Carolina to go visit her niece and she kind of said yes to this trip without consulting me first which I I, I kind of got really upset about um it, this is tied to something that happened years ago with us and it was this was kind of rehashing that and um you know we we, we got kind of mad at each other for a while and then uh we, we, we smoothed it over and it was just, you know, I'm just kind of bummed because, you know, first, she, first she agreed to, to go without talking to me about it. And, you know, I know she's a lot, she's under a lot of stress. She's under a lot of pressure too. You know, I'm, I'm not easy to deal with and I've made it even more difficult over the past year with everything that I've gone through. Um, so, you know, it's not that she doesn't deserve a vacation and it's not like my kids don't deserve to go have a good time. I'm all for that. It just, Unfortunately, you know, number one, she was supposed to, my wife was supposed to be my lifeline here. She was supposed to be my backup, you know, my security blanket in case something went wrong. She's also the one holding all my money, um, you know, so I don't have to carry it around with me. So, you know, that's a big deal. And of course, not being able to see my kids uh, for any amount of time sucks because I, I don't get to see them as much as I would like to right now because, you know, depending on where Murder Dog and I sleep and depending on where they uh, depending on when they get up and get moving in the morning, you know, I think we, I think we figured it out last night, like five and a half hours was, had been the most I had seen them, uh, in one day, uh, since this all started. And, uh, that's just, you know, less than a quarter of a day, not nearly enough for me to spend with my kids. So, uh, I was kind of bumming about that. Um, you know, and like I said, we, we kind of smoothed things over and, uh, then we actually got to stay together in an undisclosed, well, it was supposed to be an undisclosed location. She had asked me to, to, to keep it undisclosed, so it did not cause any other problems with her family. But I think the cat's been out of the bag, so whatever. We got to stay together last night. Um, I got to hang out with my kids. I got to see them first thing in the morning, uh, which I haven't got to do in quite a while. And, uh, you know, the wife and I got to sleep in the same bed together um, for the first time in months, <laughs> it, it feels like. So, you know, that, that was great. And, uh, you know, it made me feel a lot better. And then, you know, this morning got up, got to see the kids, you know, got to hang out with her and it was, everything was great. And then I started to scramble to try to figure out what I could possibly get done before they left. And, you know, one of the things I needed to do was, uh, as I've talked about, I'm still setting up the, uh, the, uh, the mailing address in South Dakota with your best address .com. I got the address secured and everything. I just, I still have to fill out the paperwork and have it notarized and send it back to them to authorize them to actually handle my mail. And, you know, since the location that we were at, 
uh, had a printer and whatnot. She, she took care of that for me. And as I was filling out the documents, I realized that my car registration, which I thought ended, you know, because on the front of the registration, if you look at it from the window, it just says the month and the year. It says 618. So I thought I had till the end of the month. Unfortunately, when I pulled the actual registration card out, I found that it actually expired today. And this is a big problem because I was trying my hardest not to have to re-register here in New Yorkistan. Um, You know, my whole plan was to get the mailing address in South Dakota and then end up getting the my driver's license and my my residency set up there through the same program uh, through yourbestaddress.com. And then that way I would, you know, wherever I ended up and it didn't matter how long it took me to get there and get everything set up, I'd already have a valid driver's license and all that stuff. So having to spend money with New York State uh, on, just on principle is, is, is a problem for me because I've had to pay so much money to these, well, these assholes over the years and they continue to try to bleed me dry and giving them any money is a, was a really big deal for me. Uh, unfortunately, because we're living out of the vehicle, we obviously have to have our papers uh, as as up to date as possible to so to lessen the risk of being harassed. So I just I kind of snapped at that point, and everything else just got to me altogether. And the fact that you know I, I I've been dealing with all this stuff, I've been dealing with being harassed and and just and and manhandled by the state for the past year plus. Um, you know all the crap with my house that it took forever to sell. Um, you know, and all the delays that happened there. And it was, it was, you know, it was, it was, it wasn't me. It was the town. It was the, my bank originally. It was even my real estate agency, all of them. They all, they all screwed me over and delayed the process forever and uh, caused me to go even further in debt. And just all of that came rushing back to me. And then when I added to the mix that like, I even though the wife and I had smoothed things over and I had kind of said to her, uh, kind of half joking that before this before this information became known to me about the registration was that you know I still don't want them going I really don't want them going um, and geez now I'm, I'm so out of it I don't even I don't know if I failed if I mentioned the fact that this trip you know like I said she agreed to it without without consulting me but she also agreed to it without knowing the details so if I saw if I said this already I apologize but I'm not going to go back and look at it over right now I'm just too tired uh, but yeah, so the trip, the trip ended up being for a week because her niece won tickets in a radio contest and she offered them to her and the, her and the girls so they could come down to, to be with her, which, you know, was really sweet, you know, young girl. I can't, I think she's like 12 or 13, maybe 14 at this point. I forget. Um, I haven't seen her in years cause I don't talk to, to, to wife's family. They hate me. Obviously we've talked about that before. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really sweet, but, you know, she, my wife had told her originally, I'd love to come down, but we can't come for that long. And then she gets the tickets and it's like, well, it's a week long. And since it's radio, con- radio ticket, uh, radio concert, uh, yeah, Jesus, I'm okay. Radio station tickets, they don't, ch- you know, they have like blackout dates and stuff, so you can't change them. And, you know, so a week, it's, it's a really long time to be without my kids um, and the wife and everything. So, you know, I... Uh, all of that came rushing back. And even, I, that's what I was starting to say, sorry. I, I, I kind of joke with her and said, all right, I really don't want you to go. Really don't want you to go. But if you're going to have to do this, then, you know, come the end of the month when we're all supposed to get to Michigan, you're definitely driving by yourself with the girls and driving back because I'm going to have to go to South Dakota then um, to take care of the license stuff. Because since this trip for them came up so unexpectedly, literally, like, I found out the information about the time of it, like, the actual dates of it, two days ago. Not even. Sunday. Yeah, it's only, well, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, two days ago now, because it's Tuesday night, and I found out Sunday night. So I was given, like, no time to plan. And because I wasn't aware of this trip or any the dates of this trip or anything or how long it was going to be, I, I agreed to do a little bit of work this weekend for a former client and when I mean a little bit of work, it's only 45 minutes on, 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 on Friday and then 45 minutes again on Sunday, both in the morning, which, you know, n- uh, you know, not a lot of work, pretty easy money, but it, uh, it make, it causes me not to be able to go anywhere for those entire, like for those three days. Cause I have to be here to go to, to take care of this work on those two days. So, you know, right away, can't go anywhere for the weekend. And they're leaving tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and that doesn't give me nearly enough time to drive the 1,400-plus miles out to South Dakota, spend the night there uh, so I can obtain the, the residency and the driver's license stuff, and then come back um, in time for work. 
it's just not going to happen. So, you know, I was, I was joking with her about that. And then all of a sudden there's all this other news hit and, uh, yeah, I just, I broke down and, uh, I was in a really bad place and just everything was hitting me and I was feeling alone. And, uh, as I've talked about before, like being alone out here, not necessarily a big deal for me. At least I didn't think so because, you know, I, I have that hermit mode that I turn into every once in a while. So, you know, I can amuse myself. I can keep myself busy. Uh, and I, you know, I, as long as I have my phone and I can reach out on telegram or signal or, you know, even through social media or pick, you know, call somebody, I mean, you know, I can usually be pretty good, but it was the feeling of kind of being abandoned by my family that just pushed me over the edge. And, you know, like I, obviously my kids don't, they're not trying to abandon me. They're just, you know, they're young. They're super excited to see their cousin who they never get to see because, well, my wife's family is a bunch of assholes and her, her niece's parents, her, you know, that my wife's brother and her sister, his his wife, her sister-in-law, uh, they're horrible people as far as I'm concerned. And they moved down to North Carolina and then got into, they got mad at my wife for something years ago. And, uh, they withheld their niece their They withheld their daughter, her niece, my wife's niece from her for years. You know, she barely gets to see her. It was only when the, when the girl became old enough to get her own cell phone that she started calling my wife on her own, that they've started to rekindle their relationship. And they used to be super close when she was younger. So, you know, uh, I get it. I, I get the fact that, you know, the, the kids are excited. And of course, you know, like I said, I know my wife deserves to, to, to be happy. She deserves to have, you know, have fun. And after everything she's been through, just trying to take care of me over the past year, you know, I know she deserves a break. It's just the timing. Like everything just hit me at once. And, uh, yeah, I almost went off the deep end this morning. I did. I, uh, I, I really was ready to give up. And honestly, and I'm not just talking about this. I the, talking about the van nomadism thing. I was just ready to check out. In all honesty, folks, it uh, it got that bad for me this morning, and uh, it took me a little while to regain my composure. And uh, you know, I, I freaked the wife out, unfortunately, because I just I had you know she tried to stop me from leaving, and I just I had to get out of there. I just had to go, and you know, I ended up getting a phone call from a very good friend of mine who I, I figured it would happen because every time something like this happens, my wife immediately calls him because my buddy Merrick uh, is a guy, I've known him for years now. We've never actually met in person, but I consider him one of my best friends. And this gentleman, it's scary how similar we are, how our minds work. Like it's just every conversation, and we have like two, three, four hour conversations, whenever, like we talk like maybe once a month or so usually. Sometimes even every, once every two months, but whenever we do, it's always at least a couple hour conversation. And it, every time we talk, I find out that we have even more in common and not just things in common, but we literally think the same way. It's, it's almost scary. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of figured I would hear from him and, you know, I had already talked myself down off the ledge a little bit, but he helped me put a lot more things in perspective and I, uh, it helped me, you know, realize that, well, number one, yeah, these, this is going to be shitty. And yeah, you're kind of getting screwed here because, you know, you weren't asked about this. This is just coming up. Your lifeline's leaving you. Um, you got an extra bullshit now to deal with, with the DMV and registration and all this crap. Um, and you have to, going to have to figure out how to do certain things. You know, um, I, I, like I said, I was bummed about, you know, uh, well, upset about the lifeline leaving me because aside from being able to be with her and the kids and spend time with them, she had agreed to and even offered most of this to be there, like I said, to hold the money, um, to hold extra supplies that I would, you know, if I had purchased anything in bulk but didn't want to keep it all on me at once, she was going to hold some of that. Uh, she's also my backup mail service until I get everything set up so I can have things sent to her. And, uh, you know, taking and also being there to watch Murder Dog when I need it, because as much as I love having her with me and she's in the car with me most of the time, there's certain things I have to do that I would have to leave her in the vehicle because I can't bring her with me. And, you know, the weather's been crazy around here. It's been hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. But on the warm and hot days, I obviously can't leave her in the car for an indefinite period of time. So, you know, she was supposed to be there for that. And one of those big things was the whole shower issue, because as I spoke about, uh, qu quite a number of times I, 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 I have been considering and then I almost pulled the trigger the other day on purchasing the Planet Fitness membership and only hesitated because the manager told me to wait because a new set of deals was coming out and uh, you know that was another one of those things 
she had offered to watch Murder Dog whenever I wanted to go to Planet Fitness to shower. So it's like, well, crap. Now I have nobody to watch the dog when I shower. Uh, my money situation is going to be in limbo. And I don't have I don't have a backup. And now, of course, with this whole thing with the registration, if I don't get it taken care of right away, and if I if I spend money that I really don't want to, and it's not about the money itself, it's the principle of where that money's going. Um, I'm I'm at even more risk, and you know they could they could end up impounding my damn car if they pull me over because they're they're well they're assholes like that. So so yeah, it was it 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 just everything like I said everything hit me like a ton of bricks, and uh, you know thankfully Mer- my buddy Merrick helped me put everything back in perspective and made me realize that yeah this is gonna suck, dude, but there's a lot worse that could happen. And he told me a story of a friend of his who has had like. Bad luck doesn't even begin to describe what this, this like the the suffering this this man has had to go through over the past couple of years, just one after another, like horrible things happening to him, and he's still kicking, and he's still getting up every morning, and he's still fighting, and uh, you know after hearing that story and and the way my, my the way my buddy Mary put it to me was he's like whenever I get whenever I get down now I immediately think of my friend, and then very next thing I say is get up off the floor you're being a pussy, and that hit home, and I was like yeah. You're right, man. I'm being a v- bit of a pussy here. I mean, are things kind of crappy? Yeah. Is a lot of it out of my control and things that, like, the state doing shit to me and, like, all this other shit happened to me or people, like, doing things and, and not telling me, like, all this stuff? Yeah. But it could still be worse. So, with that in mind, I, uh, I, I rated myself a little bit and uh, I went back to the wife and kids and I apologized for... Uh, for scaring, for scaring her, and uh, and I, you know, and I talked to the kids, and uh, you know, we ended up spending the rest of the day together, which was nice. Uh, unfortunately, I, I ended up just leaving there, uh, leaving them again. Uh, you know, they got to get up early for the plane and whatnot. But uh, but yeah, so that, that's why I'm recording this late because now I, I've I've been with them for the majority of the day, or at least off by myself on the phone, so I haven't had time to record. So uh, so yeah. It's uh, now the next week. Well, it's going to get a lot more interesting. You know, like I said, it's un- it's unfortunate because of the timing, because it's kind of hard for me to plan stuff. You know, even even if I hadn't agreed to the work thing this weekend, it still might have been pretty diff. It might have been difficult to try to pull off the trip on the you know the trips I need to do on this very short notice because I wanted to take the car into the shop first and get it you know tuned up, and make sure you know get it checked out, make sure everything's good to go for a twenty eight hundred mile round trip, and uh, you know make sure I have everything, all the documents I need for when I go out there and stuff. And there's some issues that I have to take care of with documents on this end first before I do that. So that would take me a day or two, I figure. And uh, yeah, it would still be pushing it because of the time. So it wasn't going to happen, which, like I said, is unfortunate because that means after we come back from Michigan, I'm going to have to go off by myself. Well, Murder Dog and I are going to have to head to South Dakota to take care of that finally, which means even more days I'm going to be without my kids. And, you know, there's not much I could do about that because this isn't my doing. (laughs) Uh, so yeah so sorry if this one's a little darker than uh than than a lot of my other vlogs have been but uh i do like to be real with you folks you know i don't i I don't often hold much back so uh i'm I'm letting you i'm letting you know what's up i like i said i i got to a really dark place this morning and uh and luckily i came out of it luckily i'm i'm still here (laughs) uh i ain't going anywhere yet um as much as I do like to complain and I let things get me down, I know, uh, I know, I know deep down I'm still a fighter, so I'm going to keep pushing. And, you know, one of the cool things is a buddy of mine, my buddy Craig, who lives upstate in New York, had uh, offered for me to come up there. And, you know, he, kinda, he sent me a message the other day. It was kind of like, hey, man, if you need a place to stay, you can always come hang up in my place. I think he's got like 30, I think he said he's got like 30 something acres up there. And I was like, you can camp out anywhere you want. You can just hang out there for as long as you want. And uh, at first I told him that, you know, I'd love to, but I, I thought, you know, the wife would think I was just desert, deserting her if I took off to go upstate for a couple of days. Turns out she's kind of deserting me. <laughs> so I contacted Craig and said, hey, man, if that offer is still open, we can uh, maybe I can come up for a few days. And since the situation with, you know, the, like I said, the work thing, I got to do a little work on Friday morning, a little work on Sunday morning, and I got to take care of some other stuff, most likely tomorrow. Didn't make sense to me to head up there 
before I have to go do these work things, as I kind of had originally intended once I figured out what was actually going on. So I think I'm going to try to head up there Sunday uh, when I'm done with work. Murder Dog and I will just head up and uh, go hang out with him for a few days and then come back when the kids and the wife come back from, whatchamacallit, come back from North Carolina on Tuesday. And, uh, you know, and then we'll get to, and then we'll get to see each other again, which will be nice. So, yeah, at least uh, at least I, I found something to do and it'll be a diff- it'll be a di- much different experience from, from what I've been doing so far. Uh, and then for the next couple of days, aside from that work stuff, Murder Dog and I, well, we'll really be on our own and uh, you know, we'll figure out some things to do, I guess. Like I said, I do have some stuff that has to get taken care of, unfortunately. I do have uh, I do have some final bills from the house that I still got to pay and, you know, that were due in this week or next week anyway. So I got to go in and pay those off and uh, clear up some other BS. So, you know, that, that, that'll that probably take a day or two. So we'll get all that done. We'll uh, maybe find another place, to, you know, another new place to sleep. Uh, tonight we probably will end up heading back to the marina, I think, because it's been a couple of nights and we had such a good time there last time. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, that's about it. And, uh, I know I posted a, I posted these, I've been posting these daily on steam it. And I know yesterday I post, I think it was last night. I posted a bunch of them up on YouTube because I had fallen behind, you know, with the whole trying to find a uh, good wifi and stuff and only using it to, to get what I need to do and then getting out of there. Uh, I didn't get around to posting uh, posting them to YouTube every time that I posted them to Steam it like I had been doing. So I raced and posted like four or five of them up, and I know I saw a bunch of comments. I did not get a chance to read all through uh, through all of them yet, uh, but I know my uh, my one friend who uh, who who contacted me the first time, and you know the, my new friend who told you know who's. Uh, told me about his experiences in the Nissan Xterra. I saw a bunch of messages from you, and uh, I will respond at some point, probably tomorrow once I get set up with, with Internet, with uh, Wi-Fi again. I'll actually read everything and respond to you. But I knew, I, the one message I did catch is you, I know you said you would like to see, and a couple other people have said this to me too, you want to see what's going on in the inside of the vehicle, the setup I got, and possibly some of the surroundings of where we're staying at. Um, I had I, I, I'd actually mentioned that in multiple ve- in multiple videos. I meant to pan around and show you guys what's going on here because i know i said in the w- early in a couple of uh, earlier videos i mentioned how it would be clunky when i did that because i'm using my laptop and i don't have like i don't have a separate webcam or anything like that so i'd li- literally have to pick up the uh, laptop and spin it around to show you guys and i did bring it up in a couple of things even one time i remember saying hey i'm going to show you murder dog in a little bit and then i never did um, obviously now it's night, so it's going to be kind of tough but uh, i will try to get that into tomorrow's video i will uh I'll try to st- hopefully it's nice out and if it's nice out I'll start the video off outside and uh you know get get a little pan of where wherever we're at I'll I'll show you guys what what uh, what we got going on and then I'll I'll show you the inside inside of the vehicle for the time being obviously bear in mind this is still a work in progress uh you know we don't have everything set anywhere near permanently right now cuz the the way I think still have things set up at the current moment there's a couple of things I have to shift from the back into the driver's seat when, at night when we get when we get ready to go down to, and lay down and go to sleep. Um, but I, I'll show you what we got going on and uh, what we're working with, and also talk about some of the ideas that I have for what I would like to do to the vehicle to make to create a little more room. And you know, the, I've also talked about the possibility of actually sticking a small bed in here. So yeah, uh, I will definitely try to get that tomorrow. So don't think I'm not. Uh, don't think I'm not reading the comments. I just haven't got a chance to get to them yet. But I will try to address all of those tomorrow, uh, the comments themselves, and I will also try to address some of these uh, in tomorrow's video. So yeah, like I said, I, I think I think that about says it all. Uh, although actually no, sorry, I do have one last note, and this is for a very specific set of people. So, you know, all of you can pay attention, but this is directed at a, a few specific people because it's come to my attention that certain individuals are quite keen on trying to keep tabs on me through, you know, viewing my stuff and uh, thinking I don't know about it. Um, and these people would be, well, my wife's family. Um, and to you guys, Mike, Denise, Mike. Karen, 
all of you, I know at least one of you will see this. You can all go fuck yourselves. You are all horrible, horrible, worthless piles of shit. And since the cat is most likely out of the bag, yeah, Big Mike, I was on your property. And you know what? I don't give a flying fuck because you purchased that property with stolen money, you fat ex-pig. So it's not yours. It's stolen land. It's up for grabs as far as I'm concerned. So you folks who think you can try to keep my kids away from me and uh, do things to try to get in my way. (sighs) I thought about trying to be the bigger man, but nah. Go fuck yourselves. You fucking people are horrible. And uh, I wouldn't piss on any one of you if you were on fire. I'd wait till you're dead and then piss on you. Because that's all you fucking deserve. Fuck you again, people. Anyway, sorry, folks. I just I had to get that out there because once I found out that these motherfuckers were still fucking spying on me like this, hey, you don't have the balls to say anything to my face. That's why I have a camera. Fuck off. All right, that's enough. I got that out of my system. So, like I said, really rough day. Um, but I am uh, I'm trying to get refocused and. I will do my best to uh, make the best out of this next week. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to cause me to try to, you know, figure out what I'm made of a little quicker because I won't have my safety net here anymore. But, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make do. And Murder Dog and I will continue to trudge on. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Even you fucking assholes who I hate with the fucking the, the, uh, strength of a thousand suns. Uh, Actually, especially you, my haters, I love when you guys watch this shit because that just makes me so fucking happy because that means I am in your fucking head. Yeah. Oh, that that just cheers me up. Anyway, so yeah. So uh, like I said, thanks everybody for watching and uh, thank you again for all the continued support. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the suggestions. Uh, you know, like I said, I didn't get to the YouTube comments yet, and I know there's a couple of comments on Steam it I haven't got to yet either, but I will try to get to those tomorrow. Um, but I saw some, I saw some uh, suggestions being floated my way. So thank you guys so much again for that. I, again, keep them coming. Uh, any of you guys who have done this before, who are doing it now, who want to share your ideas with me, please feel free to do so. It, it's really helping me out, and I love the fact that you guys are uh, are watching this and uh, you know being supportive in that way. It, it means a lot. It really does. And uh, I've said it before, and I will say it again. If any of you out there are interested in talking to me like directly about this, not just listening to me talk to my videos in this one you know this one way street form. Uh, if you want to have a conversation, um, if you're you know we 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 can do that. We can set it up. We can do a Skype call. Um, we can phone call. You know whatever you guys want to do. Um, if you if you if you know I I know some people are trying to be super secretive about this. You know to keep off the radar. So if you don't want to be on a video or a podcast or anything like that, we can just have a private conversation. That's totally cool with me. But. If any out there want to try to do, you know, want to actually do like a a video or like an episode of one of my shows or something and we could talk about all this stuff. Excellent. Um, I'm, I, I have been working on that. I I think we can, um, we may have some issues with the fiend phone, which I like to use, which is what we use for the freedom fiends. And we also use for the seeds of Liberty and stuff like that. But I did temper, I tested out Skype, Skype briefly the other day when I had a really good Wi-Fi connection and it seemed to work. So I think uh, as long as I get good Wi-Fi, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I should definitely be able to record with other people. So, again, if you guys are interested, hit me up, and uh, we'll have a conversation. It'll be great. So thanks again, everybody. And, uh, yeah, bad day, but I'm still here, and uh, you'll hear from me tomorrow. Have a good night, folks. Peace, y'all.